Now we're going to do an experiment whereby I'm going to make M2 twice the mass. M2 is 488 plus or minus one gram. Now that's going to be interesting because now you really begin to test the conservation of momentum. The momentum before is zero. I burn the wire, momentum afterwards is also zero. But the velocities, oh, I erase this, V2 prime divided by V1 prime equals M1 divided by M2. And so twice the mass will get half the speed. And so now you're going to see that one car will go twice as slow as the other. That's the only way that nature can conserve momentum. Nature has no choice. Nature can deal with kinetic energy one way or another, but it cannot finagle momentum. So it must give the more massive car half the speed than it gives the other car. And so we're going to redo this experiment now with a car here which is twice the mass, and this one equals Where is my other car? Oh, my car is here. And this one is one's mass. So this is the 244, and the one on, the, on your right is the 488. So I have to bring them together again with a string. So I, I do the work now. I always do the work here in 26100. I do the work. I squeeze these springs. I get paid for that, by the way. And that's potential energy that goes into the spring. There it is. Momentum is zero. Kinetic energy is zero. I have to zero the timers. Oh, and I would like to make a prediction. I would like to see, we'll measure T1, and then we'll measure T2, and then we get a number, and we get a number, and if we multiply this number by 2.00, then I would like to get this number. Within the uncertainties of the measurements. There is always an uncertainty in any measurement that you do. All right? Make sure that I did time is zero. Okay, there we go. What do you see? Ah, 406193. Whoo! On the button! 406 and 193. 0.406, is that what you see? Yeah? And 0.193. Now, I don't even need my calculator to multiply this by 2. I can even do that by heart. 9, 3. 0.396. 0.406. Close enough. The two are in excellent agreement within the 2.5% uncertainty in each measurement. So, you see, that's exactly how you can demonstrate the conservation of momentum. They picked up kinetic energy, but after the wire was burned, the momentum remained zero.